In a mortgage crisis, there are basically two kind of regulations. There are non-recourse mortgages, that means that the homeowner can get forgiveness for his or her debt by giving the house to the lender. And we have the recourse system that is dominant in Europe, in which there is not forgiveness and the debt stays with the homeowner until it's paid back, even in case of default of the, of the house. So during the mortgage crisis, homeowners that were facing a mortgage debt, in the US, they defaulted, they gave the house to the lender, and the debt disappeared. In Europe, they remain imprisoned with the, with the debt, and this forced these households to reduce the consumption much more in Europe than in the US. Given that the economy was in a situation that it was not doing well, the benefit of having higher consumption, it helped a lot to go out of the, rec the recession sooner in the US. What we show in this paper is that the combination of two things is a very toxic problem. When you have recourse mortgages, like in most European countries, and you have nominal rigidities, like rigidities in the labor market, or you have the zero lower bound in interest rate, that means that nominal interest rate cannot go below zero, the combination of these two elements, nominal rigidities and mortgage, that are recourse, generate very slow recoveries. Countries like Spain, Ireland, and the US, they were very similar before the crisis. There was a housing boom, there is a boom in new mortgages, there was a current account deficit, and when the crisis hit at the beginning, they were also very similar in the drop in house prices and other magnitudes. What we see really a gap is in the recovery process. The US recovered much faster than Spain and Ireland. So our takeaway is that there is a trade-off between normal times in which there is no crisis and crisis situations in the two regimes for mortgage markets. Non-recourse mortgages are better in crisis in which there are nominal rigidities, so the recovery is going to be better, but they reduce access to credit and they reduce home ownership. Recourse mortgages in normal times increase access to credit, increase leverage, increase the part of wealth that goes into housing markets, but in a crisis, because they don't have forgiveness, they make recoveries slow. <music>